Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 76, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We did some last-minute running around on the previous episode, and then we <laughs> we entered Lavos' shell, which we had defeated previously, and went and beat his second form, and now it's time for the final countdown cue cheesy 80s music da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. no sorry okay <laughs> i couldn't help it so uh we're, we're getting ready to do the final battle there's a little bit of chatter that's about to happen and basically we end up with uh three critters that we have to fight again and the real deal is actually kind of secret so uh, this can be pretty brutal, and I've seen a lot of places recommend that you be at least f level 45, which is good that we're 50s, 50s, high 50s. Uh, matter of fact, uh, if you're careful, you can solo Lavos starting about level 55 on up, depending on your gear and uh, how carefully you play, and that becomes important to get one of the special endings, which we may try to do a little bit later tonight. Tonight, as I stream this in a hopefully very future episode, if you're watching later on YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> so with all that said and done, Robo, after, after we beat his uh, outer shell or inner shell, yeah, inner shell, Robo says, that was Lavos's goal. Storing and analyzing the genetic code of every creature on the planet. He aimed to use it all to induce self-evolution into the ultimate form of life. His offensive capabilities are incalculable. My sensors are overheating. Such a vile being. We do not live for your ends. I mean, technically we already have. I mean, unless you want to go back into the past and we can take care of this in 65 million BC when he first landed here, then we could say we do not live for your ends. Oh, wait, no, that would be a different ending. <gasps> I was given life by human hands, but life is life. I am no different from Luca and the others. This planet is my home. Murderer will not be used by the likes of you. I would highly recommend doing this battle with a different crew each time through because different people say different things and you get, you get a fun little gist of all of them. So here we are, we got the three bits. Now, here's the thing. You might think it's that middle bit that you want to take care of because that's the humanoid looking one. It's a fake. You want to get the right bit and focus on him. Single text, single magic on the right bit. Ignore left shark over there. He, he's gonna keep healing the core and you know, fine. Um, I know that there is some issue with the backgrounds. I just don't remember what it is. Oh, that's right. I need to kill, uh, da, da, da. I need to go destroy a couple of them. All right. All right. All right, so far so good. And it's gonna do the heal thing, which I'm not too worried about just yet. Oh, um, oh, okay. Let's go see if we got the defense down on that just a little bit. No, 
Um, well, shoot. I don't remember what it was that uh, knocked down his defense. I think he actually had to... Okay, no, no, no. I gotta start with the bit on the left. Then when it goes down, the bit on the right will uh, hit his defense. Alright, so let's knock out that guy. Get his health back up. Skip the middle guy. I do like that the background changes to all the different places you've been. All right, now the defense should be dropping. And I should be able to focus on the right guy now. Oh! Oh my! I forgot about that one. Eek. Half hit points. Yeah. All right. Uh, frog squash should do something useful now. And then we'll go heal beam to get everybody up just a little bit at least. And then we'll frenzy this guy. Uh-oh. The chat didn't make it up to the window. I'll have to figure out what's up with that. I thought I had that, uh... Nope. Random something? Alright, let's go... Heal. And we'll get our Frenzy on the right bit. And our Rapid Fire Fist on the right bit. Because this is the guy that we gotta wear down. He's like 30,000 hit points. And as long as it says defense down, we're good. Oh. <sighs> Let me guess. The defense is about to go up. Ooh. He's about to hit us all with the ultimate. Means this is going to hurt. Oh, never mind. I thought that was going to hurt more. Oh, well. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, it's done. All right. We'll keep pouring the pain. Out. Oh, shoot. I, sh I didn't realize Robo was that low. Uh, this is what I get for trying. <laughs> A little too easily distracted. Trying to keep tabs on too many different things. Uh, let's hit everybody with a cure wave. At least Robo didn't have much to lose on that half. There we go. I got everybody back up to full health. Let's go aerial strike. Rapid fire fist. Because it should just be about 10 rounds or so before we get this uh, down. Because we're doing about 3,000 each go um, when you average it out because some of the times uh, robo and or frog were not doing damage for the heal. We should be nearing it. All right. Let's get that thing out of the way real quick. Nope, I 
I probably should. Oh, never mind. Man, Robo is taking it. What kind of ar crappy armor do I have on him? I'll have to look into that. There we go. Now that's out of the way. It'll eventually waste a turn resurrecting it. All right, I guess you guys are doing a cure wave after this. Because that thing always hurts. Round and round we go. And this is, I mean, this is pretty much the battle. You really want to focus on that little little guy on the right. Watch out for the ultimate on the middle guy. Uh, those random status element elements are why you want to uh, make sure you have uh, armor or items that reduces status effects. Uh, I just realized that Corona is a little low on the magic points. Oh, but we beat Lavos, so, okay, there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> and here we go. Flashes of time, flashes in time, through time. Achievement unlocked beyond time. That's one of the 13 achievements for different endings. Chrono. 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 You wake up, get your wretched body out of bed. Well, this wasn't the wake up I was expecting. Your stay of execution has been withdrawn. You will accompany us to the castle now, where we'll carry out your sentence. Um. We've been searching high and low for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, no! Chrono hasn't done a thing. My daughter says Chrono has done nothing. What do you think of that, Chancellor? If I may speak freely, Your Grace, I think your daughter is quite clearly delusional. Chrono's deeds have impacted the entire kingdom. The Chancellor, too? What's the matter with you? Please just listen to me. There's a reason I've been gone. You see, we had to... Save the future? What? You saved the future and taught us what it is to have hope. Remember him? He's the leader of uh, the surviving peoples in 2300 AD. You defeated Magus's troops and restored peace to the realm in the year 600. Chrono beat Reptites. I seem to recall there's still couldn't be here for this part. Oop. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you all here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? You undertook quite a daunting mission. These past and future members of our line told me all about it. Members of our line? You mean these people are all my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about rules when you were off protecting our kingdom and the life of the entire planet. I believe a victory parade is in order. Tonight we celebrate you, the hero who saved the world. Now, Nadia, why don't you go and enjoy the last night of the fair? I want to cry. Wow. 
Why do we have a guy sticking his tongue at us during a disco fever? Come along with Chrono, our hero. Come along with Princess Nadia, home safe at last. May Guardia prosper for another thousand years. Let the Moonlight Parade begin. Oh, by the by, if you did all the little side quests to get more cats, they follow you around in this parade, beyond just the one. It is kind of cute, if you're into that. I'd have rather had some dogs, but you know. Oh, good, the chat is working. There we go. The Moonlight Parade. Honey, don't just be a sack of potatoes. Dance with me. Oh, Chrono, the king says you saved the future. To think, my daughter's own best friend. Wait till I tell my friends. Ah, uh, nothing better than a toast under the stars. Chrono, have a sip. You're the hero today. I don't suspect there will be much need for weapons anymore. My days as a smith may be at an end. But looking up at that beautiful sky, it's hard to be worried about something like that. What else do we got? That's right, there was no entering in those. Princess Nadia, you look beautiful. No, don't get me wrong, honey. You look good, too. <coughs> This is fantastic. Oh, there's no way to get at the uh, the bells and stuff on that side? Okay. I can't believe it. They say you save the world. But still, I do wish you would spend a little more time around the house. It's terribly troublesome having no one around to look after the pets. Ma. <laughs> Alright, we can't get to that side. Can we talk to somebody through here? Nope. Nope. What else we got? Oh, no. That's closed off. There's no one there. That's closed off. Okay. Onward and forward. Are we about to see? Yeah, we're about to see the whole party. Well, everyone, this is it. The party's over. The time of parting is upon us at last. The gate is growing weak now that Lavos is gone. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes for good. You're all leaving? Chrono strong. Marley strong too. Ayla have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you'd better have strong, healthy kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry. Ayla, much energy. I thought this was a game for kids. Nope. Nope. Just gonna let that one go by too. Okay. <laughs> Wait. What did you mean by that? You know, dumb. Ayla, go now. Exuberant folk, and to think, we may all have de descended from them. Well, your majesty, Queen Linnea waits. We too should take our leave. Frog. I've always felt farewells are best kept brief. You're right, who needs words? Is he going to turn into a prince? Nope. Oh, you know it's a happy ending when the princess kissed the frog.
So, you gonna search for Shallow? Didn't even say anything? Well, okay then. Luca, I will keep working hard in the future. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Robo? So you realized. Realized what? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. The world will never be ruined now. Robo may not exist in the new future. Ha, ah, do not be ridiculous. The new future will certainly have a place for me. Darn it, Robo. Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. You are the one who taught me to consider the feelings of others in that manner, Luca. I am grateful for that. Don't cry. I'm sure Robo will still be built in the new future. I love how the old man just, like, toddles off without a word. Like, eh, yeah, I may not be there. Oh, well. Goodbye. Caution. Oil has occluded my vision sensors. Sight diminished. And there he goes. Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that entity is finally at rest too. Yes, I feel it too. It's awfully easy to mess things up with traveling through time. <laughs> we should probably dismantle the epoch, shouldn't we? We'd never be able to see any of the others again though. You naughty thing. Come back here. See, Chrono? Pets run away when you don't feed them. Hey, come back here. <clears throat> Guess we should have done that side quest to get a little more pet food in the bowl, huh? Oh no, Chrono, that gate will never open again. Well, looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them? But the gate's already... Luca, you don't mean... We still have a time machine. <laughs> oh, there you are, Princess. His Grace is looking for you. I mean, I want to go run off, but... We got a time machine, so it's not like we're in a hurry. I'm happy, you know. Now there's no reason for you to be running off anymore. I have a gift for you, Nadia, to commemorate this day. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. Pretty, isn't it? Nadia, could you and... Where did everyone go? Could, could someone please lend me a hand? Thanks for the gift, but I have places to be. <laughs> I don't know if the game noise is too quiet in the thing, but... <laughs> Made it just in time. Shall I fire a few off? No, Taban, not now. Actually, I really could use your... Here's the fireworks and the credits. So one of the things that changes with the different endings is what you see on this end credit scene. So when you do the standard ending, the natural walkthrough, uh, if you go as the game leads you along through and through, you'll get this nice firework display, the epoch taking off, um, and, and you know the, the credits as they run. If you finish this with one of the other endings, and some of them are only achievable via the New Game Plus, 
you'll see different uh, different endings as you go. So that is one of those things to kind of keep in mind. I guess we got to let the credits run. Um, so speaking of credits, since it doesn't look like it's going to let me uh, skip the credits, and we're already about five minutes past when I was hoping to be able to finish. I forgot how long the end part ran. While that's running, let me uh, pause right here real quick and uh, <laughs> and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. No, oh, not, not Mixer anymore. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. Oh, oh never mind. We're at some of the good stuff. I'll pause it for just a second. The Epoch is flying along, and you're seeing all the different fun scenes from all the all the times we visited. I swear he looks like a vampire. All right. I, I guess maybe I will let the credits run out instead. Because I want to say there were some other there were some other fun little bits in that. I, I guess this will just be an extended episode. What a long, strange trip it's been. It only took us 76 episodes. Some of them were double length, too. Now, what I'm definitely going to do is after uh, after the end credits go, I'm going to start one at least one more episode doing the new game plus and show that off. And I may even try to get a second of the endings. Um... We'll see how lucky I am. I might be able to make it work. But one of the things that I want to do is run through the inventory and show you uh, what happens with the new game plus. All right, will you let me skip? 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 No? Okay. I guess we got to let the credits run all the way through with the wonderful pixelated earth. I mean, it's not quite Minecraft pixelated, but, uh... It's pretty close. Yeah, I gotta get used to that dashboard being the way it is. Alright. Looks like I got some weird alert about something. Gamma. Ah, uh, the end. There we go. Now that we're at the end, can I hit the credits? Wait, we're there. Bueller. Bueller. Let me try this again. Say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow along. It helps the Twitch channel out and you'll get notified when I go live. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the YouTube channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode and YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.